Hello, everyone. This is Tiffany Yet from Hanku.com. Today, we will continue the topic of Hong Longmen. First, let's get some detailed information of the three main characters. Bao Yu, the main protagonist, the adolescent son of Jia Zhen and his wife Lady Wang, born with a piece of luminescent jade in his mouth. Bao Yu is the heir apparent to the Rongguo line, frowned on by his strict Confucian father. Bao Yu prefers reading novels and casual literature to the four books basic to a classical Chinese education. Bao Yu is highly intelligent, but hates the fawning bureaucrats that frequent his father's house. He shuns most men, considering them morally and spiritually inferior to women, sensitive and compassionate. Bao Yu holds the view that girls are in a sense pure as water, and men are in a sense muddled as mud. His distaste for worldly affairs and his frustrated love for his cousin Dai Yu eventually caused him to become a Buddhist monk. Lin Dai Yu, Jia Bao Yu's first cousin and love interest, beautiful but fragile emotionally, prone to fits of jealousy. Dai Yu is nevertheless an extremely accomplished poet and musician. The novel designates her one of the twelve beauties of Qingling. And describes her as a lonely, proud, and ultimately tragic figure. Dai Yu is the reincarnation of the crimson purple flower, and the purpose of her mortal birth is to repay her divine nurturer, reborn as Bao Yu, her debt of tears. The late actress Chen Xiaoxu, whose image and temperament in the series were quite close to the book, is considered the best Lin Dai Yu in the screen ever. Xue Baochai, Jia Baoyu's other first cousin, Baochai is a foil to Dai Yu, where Dai Yu is unconventional and hypersensitive. Baochai is sensible, tactful, and a favorite of Jia household, a model Chinese feudal maiden. The novel describes her as a beautiful and intelligent girl, but also very reserved. Although reluctant to show the extent of her knowledge, Baochai seems to be quite learned about everything. Bao Chai has a round face, fair skin, and some would say a voluptuous figure in contrast to Dai Yu's willowy daintiness. Bao Chai carries a golden locket with her, which contains words given to her in childhood by a Buddhist monk. Bao Chai's golden locket and Bao Yu's jade contain inscriptions that appear to complement one another perfectly. Their marriage is seen in the book as predestined. Since there are too many characters in this novel, it will take me several days to finish introducing them. Here is a list of other important characters. The TV series shot produced by CCTV in 1987 was the most popular version among households, which is very faithful to the novel. It gained enormous amounts of popularity with its superb music, cast, and plot. Rudology is the study of Chinese classic dream of the red chamber. There are many researchers in this field who can be divided into four general groups. The first group is the commentators. The second group is the index group. The third group is the textual critics. The final group is the literary thought group. There are a vast number of rudologists, and so controversies are hard to avoid. According to Liu Menqi's records, there have been 70 controversies to date involving nine public debates, four unsolved disputes, and three unsolved mysteries. Here is a list of the most well-known controversies. If you are interested in Dream of the Red Chamber, here are two complete published English translations. Okay, let's review today's new word: Hong Longmen, Dream of the Red Chamber. Hong Longmen. See you.